am Teresa Smith, and I'm the director of the Business Process Support Office for DLA Aviation. I deployed to Afghanistan in May of 2015, and I was there for six months. And it was truly one of the most life-changing events I, I'd experienced through my career or my personal life. Uh, I'd been there a week when Chrissy Davis, a DLA disposition employee, was killed by an indirect fire uh, missile coming in to the installation in Bagram. My first real duty was planning a memorial service and, and, and handling all the issues around not only her um, transport home, but also we had an employee, Robert DeLong, who was injured and, and dealing with all the medical um, issues around that and the paperwork. So that was my initiation into Bagram. I found out how spoiled I really was and, and how I liked specific things and you just didn't have access to those. Um, so it was, it was learning and growing through that. I learned so much about DLA. I worked there for 30 years and thought I knew all about the mission and the, the different supply chains, but I was dealing with those things firsthand. And as close to the tip of the spear as someone like me who's never been in the military would ever be. I'd been in Afghanistan a few months, though, and I guess this is the most personal thing, when my husband had a heart attack. I had um, been on battlefield circulation and was actually in Kandahar. And I was at the airport to head back to Bagram. I happened to have Wi-Fi, so I, I checked in at home, and it was midnight at home, and I saw my daughter online, so I just shot her a note and said, hey, what are you doing up? And she told me that her father was having chest pain, so I flipped over and texted him, and I'm trying to convince both of them he needs to go to the hospital and, and um, to call an ambulance, and then my flight got called. So it was an anxious four hours um, in transit. By the time I got back to Bagram and was able to, to hook up on communication, I found out that you know, he had had a heart attack, he had been through surgery, and was in um, the coronary care unit. So immediately, you know, I'm anxious for not only my husband, but my daughter and all the decisions she's having to make and, and deal with on her own. The DLA machine just stepped up when I got back to the office and and informed my um, commander there what was going on and he contacted the necessary folks at DLA Central and not only my personal family and friends but the DLA family stepped in to really take care of things. They got me home quickly. Um, I was able to spend 10 days at home um, taking care of him, making sure his medical was, was good and he was settled you know, it was very meaningful and to know that, you know, we talk about the DLA family, but to really know it is a family and, and they are um, they are caring and concerned. I, I was even told, hey, we understand if you don't want to go back. Um, but he, my husband was doing well. You know, he was recovering from the heart attack, talked to his doctors, they said everything was going to be fine. And, you know, I really felt a call and a mission to go. Um, I wanted to complete what I had set out to do. I found out things about my own endurance and stamina that I never thought I could, about things that I never thought I could do. It, for me, it was not only a time of growing my knowledge and my experience, but also improving and growing myself. Um, and to me, that's part of what resi resiliency is, as I, I use the uh, morale events there at Bagram, um, the opportunity to, to work out and, and become more physically fit, um, improve myself through you know, reading and, and things that if I were home I just wouldn't have time with. Um, and I really feel like I came back stronger, I came back changed. I, I saw a video one time, it talked about resiliency and, and it said it's the why. And for me it really is, it's the why I do things. Um, not to let the little things get me down, but to keep on pushing forward because the why of the end result is what keeps me going. You know, dealing with indirect fire, having to throw on battle rattle, having to, to overcome different obstacles. Um, like I said, I, I, I think I came back stronger. I definitely came back healthier. Um, but I came back appreciating more not only my family and friends and, and the, that it's okay to rely on other people but also I um, appreciate everything that DLA has brought to the table for me.
um, this work family and this, this organization and how much it truly does care and give us an opportunity. And, and you know, that, I guess that's my message. Don't be afraid to step out and try something that's completely out of, of left field for you. Um, rely on people, uh, trust in others, be there for others, um, but know that, that it's okay. And, and if you fall, just pick up and keep going forward.